Uh, my name is Wael Ibrahim, a member of Serving Islam team. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, ya rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salam wa ala ashraf al mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'een. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Here we are at the Hong Kong Book Fair. Wallahu basirun bil ibad. Serving Islam Team as an idea was founded in 2005 by Brother Wael Ibrahim. Focuses to train youth that how to present Islam in simple English. By continuing their journey to conduct classes in Hong Kong up to now, events which have been done so far including interfaith dialogue with Christian leaders in Hong Kong, weekly lectures for new Muslims and non-Muslims, street dawa used to go to the Hong Kong streets to distribute the Islamic books for free and to engage friendly discussion with non-Muslims. An awareness campaign in newspapers like South China Morning Post with weekly verses from Quran and Hadith of the Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him for the general readers. Peaceful protest to condemn the siege on Gaza. Inviting famous scholars like Yusuf Estes from USA and Muhammad Salah from Egypt. Largest presence for Muslim organizations in Hong Kong Book Fair. Serving Islam team is carrying the goals as to clarify misconceptions about Islam done by the current European media to the ignorant non-Muslims around the world. Unite the Muslims around the world to raise their spirit for Islamic monotheism to live with harmony and peace. To be an example and role model for the Muslims in terms of moderation, tolerance and positiveness. Here are some of the recent activities by serving Islam team to serve Islam to the non-Muslims and to remind Muslims in Hong Kong and to millions of multinationals in Hong Kong. The event held at various places and masajids in Hong Kong, famous Islamic scholars were invited to share their valuable knowledge to the Muslims and non-Muslims of Hong Kong to spread their message of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to raise up and motivate Muslim spirits by their priceless speeches and lectures. Event also had sessions for questions and answers. Many of the viewers which were answered by these scholars according to the Quran and Sunnah. At Hong Kong Book Fair, not only multinational non-Muslims were answered by the Islamic scholars about Islam, but Book Fair was also attended by Saudian Consulate. Let's hear and see what the Serving Islam team members share their views and bliss to the viewers for their greatest achievement this year to serve Islam to many those who were looking for the answers about Islam and finally they have them. Uh, my name is Wael Ibrahim, a member of Serving Islam team and what we have been uh, witnessing here for the past five days is something never happened in the history of Hong Kong when it comes to the presence of the Muslims in the book fair. We have started last year with very, very small booth. We just wanted to share Islam with the people of Hong Kong and the rest of the world, inshallah. And the presence was very small. And so we decided, me and my brothers, to come again next year and to do something on a higher and bigger scale. And here we are. We can see one of the most beautiful booth in the entire fair, alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Here we are at the Hong Kong Book Fair at the Islamic Book Section. And, uh, you know, you asked us about uh, who is Serving Islam Team. Serving Islam Team is a grassroots effort to bring Islam 101 and the basic understanding of Islam 
to the people of Hong Kong and to the world at large. We are a group of professionals and uh, people who are really interested in doing Dawa work, bringing the invitation of Islam to everyone that does not know or want to learn about Islam. We uh, have contacted various organizations that have uh, supplied us books and material to be able to properly address different questions that people have regarding Islam. And we're looking forward to, you know, sharing this me beautiful message of Islam because I don't think we do enough to let the people know what Islam is all about. So it's Serving Islam Team, in, in, in short, is an organization that has taken upon itself to share the Islamic values and about the religion with the rest of the population in Hong Kong and with the world at, at large. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad, wa ala ahli wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'een. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I greet you with the Islamic greeting. May peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. Basically, I want to tell you quickly the story of this book fair, which is right behind me, and uh, it is a long story. A lot of effort has been spent, and it's worth telling the story. Actually, this Hong Kong book fair, this is the 22nd anniversary, so this is the 22nd year. For the first 20 years, Muslims were completely sleeping, regretfully saying that they were not present by any means. And as you can see, this entire hall is only the religious hall. This is not like the book fair only, this is only the religious hall. Last year, 2009, was the first time for Muslims to be present in the Hong Kong book fair. And guess what? Out of 55 religious organizations participating in the fair, it was only one Islamic organization participating under the same name of Islamic Cultural Association. However, they didn't have such a big booth. They had a small booth, which is a standard booth, which we will take you around and show you. It was just three meters by three meters. Subhanallah, it all started when one Muslim, one Muslim, listen to this carefully, he passed by as a volunteer. And he saw this and he saw that and he became jealous. And this particular Muslim started talking to other Muslims as well, whom are young, whom are jealous, whom are keen to do something for religion. And then they decided with the grace of Allah Taala, that they said, next year 2010, we are going to have a remarkable booth in which everyone will speak about. And as the Prophet Muhammad said, Izduq Allah Yazduq. SubhanAllah, these group of youth, they decided to have four booths in the shape of a mosque. It's exactly the same size, Wallahi. Exactly the same size. Four booths in the shape of a mosque. And SubhanAllah, TV, newspapers have been reporting about this booth in Chinese. And also some English websites have, as well have been reporting about this. Why did we do this? And why are we here? Number one is to clear the misconceptions that people have about Islam. People in Hong, Hong Kong here are very well educated. 2009, the book fair, out of a population of 7 million, guess how many people did come and visit the booth? Almost 900,000 out of a population of 7 million. Look at this. And we are the ummah of ummat iqra. We can barely participate in just book fairs. So the reason why we're here is we want to tell every Muslim watching this video, do something. Don't always say, somebody will, somebody should, somebody should, no. You will, start, why, start with your own self. It's been one full year, a group of five to six individuals working on this project. And they managed to do this with donations of Muslim, Muslims all over the globe. Wallahi, people have been coming here, they've been taking books which are for free or very little amount of money, and they've been interested and they've been keen to know about Islam. Number one, our aim was to clear the misconceptions. Number two is to tell people about the true message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number three, we wanted to be a role model and show people how Muslims behave and interact. We are the only booth in this entire book fair, not only the religious hall, where we have volunteers from all different nationalities. We have people from Ghana in Africa, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, from Palestine. You have people coming all, uh, all across from the US. We had people coming from Philippines, from Bangladesh, from Sri Lanka. We had people from, of course, China. We had people from Indonesia. So Alhamdulillah, people noticed. People noticed and they came and they said, I've noticed something. You are the only booth 
that do have a lot of nationalities. And this is Islam. Islam does not belong to the Arabs. Islam does not belong to Indians. Islam does not belong to Pakistanis. We have to show the people that this message belongs to each and every human being on earth. May Allah accept this from us and may Allah enlighten those people's hearts to Islam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Question number three uh, talks about what do you plan to achieve? So, what what the Sheikh wants to know is, you know, why why did you decide to do this, and then what is the purpose? Like, what's your goal? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We welcome you all with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Almighty God be on all of you. And we are welcoming our non-Muslim guests who are here. And inshallah, our first speaker for today's lecture would be Dr. Muhammad Salah from Egypt, uh, the very well-known preacher of Al Huda TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you all? Alhamdulillah wa shukla. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأولين والآخرين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praise be to Allah alone We praise him and we seek his help Whomsoever Allah guides is a truly guided one and whomsoever Allah leaves us ray no one can show him guidance May the best peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad Peace be upon him ثم أما بعد so we're going to deal with these two ailments, suicide and drugs, from an Islamic perspective. Called a paddle, they called it a paddle, and it was a, a piece of wood about uh, two, two and a half feet, and about an inch thick. And some of them had holes drilled in them so you could get a little bit better speed, you know, the aerodynamics of the paddle. <laughs> and I remember that one of the teachers who was quite educated himself and his was displayed on the front like the name tag is here on the table. And it said right on it, Board of Education. <laughs> 